Hello, good morning. Uh, good day everyone. So, this is a short tutorial video para po dun sa mga nagtatanong kung anong certificate generator or kung meron ba ang gagamitin in printing diploma or printing a certificate of recognition for today, I mean for this school year, no, 2020-2021. So, first you need to download this file, this WAR file. So this is a DepEd Certificate Generator version 2.8. So this was originally created by Sir Lance of uh, DepEd Olongapo City. So that is in region 3. So what you're going to do after downloading, so we'll be posting the link for the we'll be posting the link for this file now. So if you are successful in downloading this file, so just right click and make sure pala na no, meron ka pong uh, parang uh, winner archiver or yung mga ex nag extract po ng mga zip files or rar files so in my case just right click tapos just click extract to DepEd certificate generator 2.8 so when you are going to do that it will create a folder just like this one so once na matapos ka mag extract just open the folder double click lang po or right click and then open and then so kung ano man po yung files na nandyan po sa loob huwag nyo na pong pakialaman para po hindi po kayo magka problema so yung papakialaman na po natin uh, this part na po dito sa my uh, sa my font na part tapos make sure that these three fonts here are installed in your desktop or in your PC or laptops. Otherwise, hindi po kayo mag hindi po kayo makakafollow dun sa nakaset po na standards on the text or the font style that is being used for that uh, certificates and diplomas. So, double click nyo lang po. And then just like this one, right click nyo lang and then install. In my case, kasi naka-install na siya, so no need for me to do this. Or maybe I can. Sabi na. <laughs> I'll book my fonts already installed. Do you want to replace it? So, no lang yung sa akin. But for you, it's it should be a yes for you. And then here, ganun din, double click, then right click, and then install. Okay? Then, the Trajan po, regular din po na font, sa, na font style. Double click, right click, and then install. So, yun lang po, fonts. Then, after the font folder, you also need to have your logo na folder. You need to visit that. Meron na pong DepEd dito na logo. So, yung kailangan nyo na lang. Well, if you're from Division of Leyte, you do not need to, to do anything about it kasi nandyan na po yung logo ng Division of Leyte. But if you're coming from other divisions, you need to put the division logo of your division in this folder okay and then if you're done go back to the main uh, folder then dito makikita mo yung merong elementary list merong junior high school list merong kinder list merong recognition list and merong senior high school list now depende po kasi yan kung saan I mean if you are an elementary school if you are a junior high school or a senior high school Kasi dyan ka po maglalagay ng listahan, for example, in this case, maglalagay ka po ng listahan ng mga students ninyo. So, just like this. Then, yung pangalan, full name, and then the LRN. Okay? Full name and the LRN. So, just like in the elementary list also, nandyan yung pangalan, Tapos, LRN. Name, LRN. Name, LRN. Okay? So, makukuha nyo naman po yung list na yan. Uh, I, I'm sure meron naman kayong uh, yung E-class record or meron naman kayong forms, school forms. dami ng school forms natin, school forms 1 to 10. Or sa LIS ninyo, you can have that list automatically para you do not need to type it anymore. Okay? Then, kapag na-edit na mo na yun, just click save. 
Tapos, punta ka na dun sa DepEd Generate Certificate Generator na application file. So, double click. So, una mong gagawin, punta ka sa settings. Then, if you are from elementary, so ito yung dalawang to yung i-prepare mo. If you are from junior high school, pwede na mga junior high school lang or from senior high school, nandyan lang din. So, depende po yan sa case po ninyo. So, for kinder, sabi ko prepare kinder certificate. Yan. So, yung pag-navigate pala dito, either you click on the on the click lang or yung tab na button in your keyboard. So, tab lang. Example, from here, tatab ako yan. So, if you're from region 8, no need to change the region. Kasi, nasa region 8 na naman yan. But, if you're from other regions, you need to change uh, header number 5. Or, if you're from other divisions, no, you need to change the header for header 5 and header 6 if you're not from region 8. And if you're from region 8 but you're from different division, you need to change header 7, 8, 9, 10. Ganon. If nasa labas ka naman ng region 8, you need to change header 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay? So, tabs lang. Yan. So, sangay ng that's your division office. And the division, header 7 and 8 are actually the same. Filipino version lang tong si header 7, tapos English version si header 8. While header 9 and 10 are also the same, that's the district. Pero Filipino version lang tong si header 9, well, the, dis the English version is in header 10. Okay? So, after header 10, that's the school name. So, please type in capital letters, tapos in full. Hindi po pwede yung uh, naka-acronym lang siya. Then, after the school name, that's the body numbers 1 to 10. So, you need to change body number number 9 and body number 10. Kasi, uh, that's where, your usually, that's the division office address. So, like for example, in our case, that's in Palo, Leyte. While... This one is the last day. So, depende po kasi. So, I don't know ngayon kung ano yung official na last day or ano yung official date ng graduation. So, dito lang sa example, that's in August, I mean in 7th of, 7th of July 2021. But still, you can change it. Editable naman po yan. So, that's head, body number 9 and body number 10. Footer 1 is the name of the school head in capital letters. And footer 4 is the name of your school's division superintendent. While footer 2 is the uh, position of the school, school head, I mean. And then footer 5 is the position in Filipino version of the school's division superintendent. So, dito sa baba, pinaka-importante po yung dalawang logo. So, the DepEd logo, so locate nyo lang. Then, hanapin nyo po yung logo kanina sa DepEd. While yung dito naman sa division logo, that's why it's very important kanina na ilagay ninyo yung division logo ninyo. So, locate lang po yan. Then, search nyo lang yung division logo dun ninyo. Then, click open. After that, click save. Okay? So, that's the same thing that you're going to do with the elementary school. So, ganun din. Try to make sure that the region, the division, and the districts na data are correct including your school name then the signed address of the division office usually and the date last day of the school year or magtanong po kayo sa inyong mga school heads or education program supervisors regarding the last day po dito then again the name of the school head, name of the superintendent for footer 1 and footer 4 respectively then, ito yung locate na button kanina for the, the DepEd logo and locate button for the division logo. So, wala po kayong ilalagay dyan na school logo. Then, in the junior high school, ganun din po. So, still the same. Almost ganun lang din yung process. Just don't forget to click the save button here para po masave yung settings ninyo. In the senior high school, still the same. Just click the save button afterwards. And then, dito ka na po sa create certificate. So, pwede ka namang dito rin mag-create ng list. 
example kindergarten no you have the list so yan for locate and load so maghanap ka ng excel file uh, now yung first column is the name the second column is the lrn so yun po yung locate and load but uh, file not found sabi niya pero itong file yung kindergarten na list na to you can still edit this kung may kung may mali LRN. But, itong list na to, this is the same list nung nandun po kanina, dito sa ating, ito, yung mga high school list, yung naka-excel file. So, better po na you edit dun lang muna sa excel file. And please do not forget to click the save button. Okay? So, balik po tayo dun. So, kung okay na lahat, create certificate. So, for example, in elementary, I'll click elementary. So, nandyan na yan. I'll click this generate certificate. Sabi na niya, you can now generate certificate. So, magpiprint preview na po ako. Yan. So, that's the print preview. Kung makikita nyo, yan po yung sample ng certificate. Para makita po ninyo muna ano yung pagmumukha ng certificate. Tapos, kung okay na sa inyo, uh, this is based on the, yung sa manual of styles, no? Sa DepEd order number 30. Or 31 ba yun? Series of 2019. So, if meron pong pagkakaiba dito dun sa manual of styles, dun sa depend order, sundin nyo po yung depend order. <laughs> so, kung okay na sa inyo, na yun dyan na po yung mga certificates, so, nakaredy na para hindi po nyo isa-isahin. Just go to the start the print book. I mean, hanap kayo ng printer, no? May printer pala dyan. Then, black and white or colored. Make sure that's colored. Then, start the print. Ito may button dyan to start the print. Para magpiprint na lang siya. Habang ikaw naman ay gumagawa ng ibang trabaho. Mag-relax. Manood ng TV. Kumain ng popcorn. Makipag-date sa asawa. Makipag-date sa syota. Matulog muna kasi sleep is life. Okay. <laughs> So, when you're done, so, tapos na po. Wala ka nang gagawin. So, that's it. So, I hope that this tutorial will be able to help you. We'll be posting the link to the file in the description of this video. So, thank you so much and good day everyone.